you guys, you know, obviously have a two in one weekend down there in Texas. What's been the kind of the vibe of the team since coming back and just their maybe their confidence level? Just what's what's been the overall vibe of them? They were, um, you know, you, you can't complain about being two and one so much, but uh, I think the team felt like we left some on the table. Um, I think they left for the tournament um, thinking that, you know, obviously the goal was to win the tournament. Uh, I think they left the tournament disappointed that they didn't win the tournament and feeling as though that they um, that they could have done that for sure. A lot of new guys. And so you, you had a lot of uh, people probably trying to, you know, figure the way out and, and try to see, you know, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, what's the season going to look like? You know, how good are we? We lost a lot of guys, all those question marks. And now that we left that tournament, I think a lot of guys are going, dang, we can be really good. Obviously still really early, but what are some things that you're looking at over five? Well, we won, you know, two or three and, you know, our two, three, four hole guys didn't, didn't really do much at all at the plate, which was uh, one of the bigger surprises of the weekend and something that we need to address and work on. Um, we got a, a poor start on Sunday that needs to be addressed. And uh, when it comes to the rotation this week, that'll address that. Um, you know, uh, when it comes to other things, you know, we, we saw the bullpen pitch uh, very well overall. Um, we saw a lot of young guys get in there, especially on Sunday. Um, you know, there were some um, uh, bright moments for sure on the pitching side of it on Sunday with, you know, Toby Twist being a bright, uh, bright spot amongst others. Um, you know, and so there was just a lot to like on the weekend and we're excited to, to uh, get back on the field this week. In particular with Toby, uh, what did you see from him, the resiliency after he gives up that home run to bounce back and go three and two thirds, striking out six? Yeah, he was brought into a heck of a tough spot, you know, in the second inning uh, for your freshman first appearance to be with a bunch of bunch of traffic and a good hitter up and you know um once he, once he settled in he was dominant you know he was dominant in his outing and that was awesome to see one of the themes of last year's team was just being able to string hits after hits after hits with what we saw from the bottom part of the order in texas especially against texas tech um is there what's the excitement there that that, that, that trend can continue this year I think you're going to see a lot of that. You know, there's a lot of grit. There's a lot of resiliency. There's uh, there are a bunch of tough kids that love to play. I don't think you're going to see two, three, four getting shut out a whole heck of a lot um, like they did this last weekend. Um, I'm sure they're probably pretty eager to get back on the field right now, those those guys. And, um, you know, just like I said, a lot of positives so far. You guys made some switches, but just overall, what do you, what do you think of your lineup and just how that worked out one through nine? Just what your thoughts on it? Um, some good and bad, you know, you needed to, you just need to get more consistent. You know, I've already indicated the middle of the order uh, situation, but um, there were a lot of bright spots, you know, Carter Grotti going four for four, uh, Drew Smith after, you know, his first two at bats on the, on the third game versus Texas Tech really being stinker at bats, second and third one out situation. And one of the two at bats, um, both of them were strikeouts. Um, you know, those are just put a ball in play and score run kind of thing. And then for him to go four for his next four, show some toughness and resiliency on Drew's uh, account. So really proud of him. Um, you know, it, it was interesting to see Bryce Betcher, you know, uh, get the start on game three and do exceptionally well. Um, you know, we've all known that he's a tremendous defender, great athlete, you know, a part of Dan's football program here and our baseball program. And so, you know, there there's some spots that may have gotten a little bit more solidified uh, after the weekend and maybe some more question marks for us to address in practice this week. Moving into putting Drew in the leadoff spot, Obviously, you know, last year's a freshman, he hits, I, I can't remember, sixth or seventh in the lineup at points. Just what, what, what went into putting him all the way at the top? Good hitter. We don't have Riku right now. So, you know, I mean, without Riku, you know, you, you need to replace a leadoff guy. And we, you know, so there's some some guys with some speed um, that as they develop their offensive game, maybe there'll be options in that leadoff spot. And that would be ideal. You guys figured out a rotation. Are you going to stick with Gordon and then Sider and then uh, maybe Turner? Or? No, we'll go Gordon, Grinsel, Twist, and Sider. The, sorry, led to the, the idea of putting twists up in the rotation. Obviously, he was pretty stretched out through 76 on Saturday or Sunday, excuse me. He was, um, you, you know, he had he had like uh, about three weeks ago, he was set back a little bit with, um, you know, I don't know what it was. It was some sort of a hangnail or whatever on his toe or whatever. And so we were just holding them out. He got held out of one of our preseason scrimmages. The way he pitched deserved to be a starter on week one. And we decided not to start him on week one because of the fact that he was dealing with a toe deal or whatever. Um, you know, that got fixed. And so he, uh, instead of starting and running him out there, we brought him in out of the pen the first week. 
he did well enough for him to be clearly starting this coming weekend, and so that's what led to that. Looking at this weekend, I against Lafayette, obviously we played uh, East Tennessee, didn't do so great. Just what are you seeing on tape from Lafayette and just – what you, just we, overall, we've watched their entire weekend. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter. We've watched their weekend. We've watched, you know, we watch tape nonstop. You know, even Pac-12 games and stuff like that. You know, last night we're watching, you know, Arizona State play last night. Um, so for us, it's it's not really. We don't get too caught up on our opponent. It's just about us. We need to improve on some things. Guys know know what we need to improve upon, and it's another opportunity for us to play whoever we play. Um, doesn't really make too much of a difference. It's just, a, you know, we're trying to get better today mentality. A lot of swing and misses this past weekend. Is that just more of like the first three games of the year and going against pretty good pitching and, and all the other guys and all the other teams? Yeah, really good pitching. When you're seeing guys that are throwing 95 to 100 miles an hour quite a bit on the weekend, that probably has something to do with it. Um, you know, first week out of the shoot, we saw a lot of swing and miss by pretty much all the teams in the tournament. Um, and some big hitters, probably the biggest hitter in the tournament, probably had a roughest weekend of his college career, um, the kid from Texas Tech. And so, you know, it's week one. I don't think you put too, too much stock in, in week one at bats. You're trying to get guys comfortable in the box and, um, you know, playing inside of a major league ballpark that's enclosed and as big as it was is probably another factor. But, you know, for us, it's week one. You know, you, you, you put the good and the bad behind you and you say, what do we need to, to do to improve upon this week? You mentioned last week you wanted to find roles in the back end of your bullpen. Both Friend and Mercado got saves. How much closer are you to finding those defined roles? Closer, closer, not there yet. You can see that there's a lot of depth back there. Um, love to get Austin Anderson back in the mix. You know, he's still dealing with, with something, and, um, you know, that's just been a lingering thing. Love to get him back in the mix and give us another guy back there that, you know, had some success last year. Um, but even without them, there's a lot of options back there and it's settling, you know, especially with the information from this last weekend. Uh, it's really good to have. Is there a reason why Moore only went two batters, just got that one out? Um, again, it was a similar kind of thing as Twist. You know, about two, three weeks ago, he was dealing with something that he had from a weight room deal. And, um, you know, nothing serious, but it was like a tweak of a hamstring. And so we brought him back. Uh, the week before the season, and he threw in scrimmage. And then um, last weekend, he was available, obviously, and that's why he pitched. But we didn't want to stretch him out a whole bunch. Brought him into a really high leverage situation. I was proud of how he did. You know, I think he only threw one or two balls and was up to 99. He, he looked the part. Opening up at PK this weekend, how excited are you to just get back at home and play in front of the fans? Really excited. You know, the way we um, – the, the way people – K Park was at the end of last year was awesome. And so we're hoping that we see the same thing at the start of this year and continue to build this. What can fans do to best engage uh, for this opening weekend? Show up, have a blast and be loud. You know, same constants that they did in the Super Regional. Uh, pack the house. You know, when somebody says, oh, well, it might be cold. Great. That's why they brought jackets, right? That's why we all have a jacket. So bring a jacket, bring a warm beverage. Let's get after it. And let's get four wins. And the fans are a big part of this. And so we need them all there.